Appendix B of your book provides parameters for common materials. The permittivity, the conductivity, and the permeability, which you can see here on the next couple slides. Conductivity and permeability. We'll be talking more about permittivity, conductivity, and permeability later in this class. But you can use these values if you have a problem that you're trying to solve and uh, you need, for example, one of the values in this table. You could go ahead and use it. Okay, so let's return to the equivalent circuit. What do we know and what do we not know? After we choose a transmission line, we can obtain or calculate C prime, G prime, L prime, or and R prime. But we don't yet know V and I, the voltage and the current, along the transmission line. Let's see if we can learn something about analyzing this equivalent circuit for the transmission line segment, as you would have analyzed a basic circuit in a circuits class. This circuit analysis is going to give us something useful now that we're taking into account the length of the transmission line, unlike before where the transmission line was just a straight line we ignored. What did you do to analyze the voltage and currents in a circuit in circuits class? You might remember applying Kirchhoff's voltage and current laws. We're going to do that here as well. Go ahead and write out the Kir Kirchhoff's current law equation for node n plus 1, that's right up here, on the top of the circuit. 